And it happens to Joshua here in Joshua chapter 5. When Joshua was by Jericho, they're getting ready to take Jericho, okay? He lifted up his eyes, and Joshua is a, is, a, is a warrior dude, a warrior leader dude, okay? Don't think like, you know, leaders we have today, fly desks, you know, speaking to intercoms and microphones and bloviate about all sorts of stupidity. This is a leader dude in the front, taking arrows in the, pulling them out. And, I mean, this is like a stud mobile, okay? Just a Joshua. That's why I like the name Joshua. <laughs> When Joshua was by Jericho, he lifted up his eyes and looked. He's getting ready to take Jericho. Fortify, this is Fort Knox, okay, of the Middle East. He's got some dudes out in the desert with sandals and swords. Big attitudes. He lifted up his eyes, he looked, and behold, a man was standing before him with his drawn sword in his hand. Okay, if, if, if you're out in the desert, okay, surrounded by enemies with a huge capital city you're going to go take, and you're out there wandering around by yourself, you know, looking at your daytime, or going, okay, checking Facebook, whatever you're doing, you know. And you come to the corner, and there's a big dude with a sword drawn, okay? What do you do? I'll tell you what I do. I'd be like, <clears throat> <whistles> call some of my people over, go take care of this guy. That's not what Joshua does. Look what Joshua does. Joshua went right up to him and said, Are you for us or for our adversaries? I love that picture of Joshua, man. Like, don't mind while I beat around the bush, with us or against us. No mincing of words, no small talk, no Starbucks chit chat, sword drawn. Are we going to do this now or later? If you're with me, it'll go good for you. If you're not with me, not so good for you. (laughs) Joshua's just a warrior dude, man. Warrior dude. No fear, warrior dude. This is like the most awesome answer in all of the Bible. And the man said, neither. But I am the commander of the army of the Lord, and now I have come. Here's why that's so profound. Most theologians think this is what we call a theophany or an early Jesus sighting. Most theologians are, agree that this was probably Jesus. Because nobody else can say they're the commander of his army except Jesus. And he goes on to say, Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshiped and said to him, what does my Lord say to his servant? Verse 15, the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, take off your sandals from your feet for the place where you are standing is holy. And Joshua did so. Joshua didn't take off his shoes for many people. And angels don't say, take off your shoes because I'm holy. There is one holy, holy, holy being and it is God himself. So when Joshua approaches Jesus and says, hey, are you for us or against us? Jesus goes, neither. I'm here representing the God. And we act on our own behalf for ourselves. 